parents and families that are looking to access class charts online, now this is via a computer or a laptop, you can do this on our website. So students, your login is under the students tab and parents, yours sits under the parents tab. If you're accessing class charts on a phone or an iPad, for example, there is a separate video for this. And this video is just for those using the internet and the website to use class charts. So once you click the class charts login, mine opens slightly differently again, because I'm a member of staff, but yours will open on a page like this. This is where you will put in your pupil code in this section. If you don't know your pupil code, please contact your year team and they will be able to provide you with this. Once you've put in your pupil code, you will then add your date of birth and you will be able to log in to your class charts. Once you are logged into class charts using your code and your date of birth, you'll be taken to this dashboard. From here, you need to select homework in the menu on the left hand side. From here, you can now see all of your homework and blended learning tasks. They are broken down in tasks that you still need to do, tasks that are completed, tasks that you may have submitted late, tasks that you have not submitted and other tasks that have been submitted at the bottom. Please make sure the date at the top is set to either this week, so you can see your tasks for this week, or for perhaps the next 30 days so you can see what's coming up. Once you select to do, this will bring you a list of all of your tasks that you need to complete. To view the task in more detail, simply select the expand button on the left hand side. Once you have expanded a blended learning lesson, you can see in more detail what has been set for this lesson, as well as any links that may be needed at the bottom of the page. Once you have completed this lesson, you must upload your work. Now, if you haven't done your work in a file that's uploadable, you can also take a photo of your work and upload it here. If you do take a photo, please keep the work safe and filed away, ready to hand in when you return to school in December. Once you have uploaded the work, you need to tick the completed box. This will then submit this to your teacher, which allows them to give feedback and mark this work as completed.